that Allah has given us these bounties. Allah thanks us. How? He appreciates. My bondsman has done this for me. He has given so much of his property for my cause, for my deen. He has dedicated his life for my, for my book. Khairukum man ta'allam al-Qur'an wa'allama. Dedicated himself to understanding my book and spreading the knowledge and wisdom of my book. So Allah appreciates. This is the shukr from Allah. He is also shakur. And we are also shakur. But the connotation would differ. وَالَّذِي عَوْهِنَا إِلَيْكَ مِنَ الْكِتَابِ هُوَ الْحَقِّ And whatever we have revealed to you, O Muhammad, from the book, it is absolutely truth. هُوَ الْحَقِّ وَمُصَدِّقًا لِمَا بَيْنَا يَدَيْهِ It confirms that which is already present before it, Torah and Injil. إِنَّ اللَّهَ بِعْبَادِهِ لَقَبِيرٌ بَصِيرٌ Verily Allah, for His bondsman, is aware and surely seer. ثُمَّ عَوْرَسْنَا الْكِتَابَ الَّذِينَ اسْتَفَيْنَا مِنْ عِبَادِنَا Then we inherited the book to the people whom we have chosen. Moses given Torah. After him, who inherited the book? The children of Israel, the Ummah. Quran given to whom? Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But who inherited the book? The Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Now Allah says, among those who inherit the books from the messengers of Allah, there are three types of people. Some of them are who do wrongs to themselves. Don't care for the book. Don't read it. What to speak of conveying it to others? They themselves not reading. So they are doing good and harm. They are doing bad and harm to themselves. Women whom muktasid. And among them are some who are in the middle, do some good deeds also, but along with that, bad deeds also. Both ways. Women whom sabiqum bil khairat. And some of them are those who outstep and who are very far ahead in virtues and in good. You know, there might be one who dedicates his full life for this. He is sabiqum bil khairat. He has outstripped others, outstepped others. Zalika huwa al kabir. This is the biggest bounty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala include us in the third category. There's no harm in praying to Allah. Oh, Allah include us in them. Jannatu Adnin, for them there will be the gardens of bliss and perpetuity. They will live there forever. And they will be adorned in that place with bracelets of gold and pearls. And their robes in Jannah will be from silk. And they will say then, all praise be to Allah, who has removed all grief from us. Now nothing to grieve, nothing to fear. We have entered this total peace, Jannah. وَقَالُوا الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ الَّذِي أَزْحَبَ عَنَّ الْحَزَنِ in the Rabbana la ghafoorun shakoor. Verily our Lord is forgiving and appreciating. Alladhi ahlana dar al-muqamati min fadli. Who, he who has out of his bounty made us dwell in the everlasting abode. La yamasuna fiha nasabun wa la yamasuna fiha lughub. In this jannah, now no toil will touch us. No weariness will touch us. وَالَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا Now, in the contrast, as for those who disbelieved, لَهُمْ نَعْرُوا جَهَنَّمْ For them will be the fire of hell. لَا يُقْضَى عَلَيْهِمْ For them, it shall not be done with them that it has come to an end. They will not have any death so that they are free from the... Chastisement. Fayamutu. There can be no death for them. 
ولا یو خف ان ہوں من ازا بہا اینڈ آلسو دی چیسٹائزمنٹ آف دی ہیل ول ناٹ بی ڈکریز نوٹ لائٹنڈ فار دم غزال کا نزدیک اللہ کفور ان دس وے وی ریوارڈ ایوری ان گریٹ فل بینگ بہم یس تر خون افی اینڈ دے ول بی کرائنگ دیئر ان ان دیٹ ہیل اینڈ سینگ رب بنا خریدنا اینڈ دے ول بی سینگ او اور لارڈ پلیز ٹیک آؤٹ اس ٹیک اس آؤٹ فرام ہیئر نامل سالے ان وی پرامس ناؤ وی شیل ڈو گڈ ڈیڈس ویر ال نزیک انہ نامل ناٹ دوز وچ وی ہیو بین ڈوئنگ اولم نامر کم دین وی گیو یو اے لانگ لائف ان دی ورلڈ ما یہ تذکر و فی ہمن تذکرہ اس ویور ہیڈ ایڈمانیشن اینڈ ریمائننگ دی ہیڈ ڈیوڈنگ دیٹ لائف اینڈ یو ویسٹڈ یور لائف وجاکم نزیر And a warner also came to you. Fazoku. Now don't address me and taste. Famali salimina min nasir. There's no helper for these evildoers. Inna allaha alimu ghaibis samawati wal nart. Verily Allah knows all the unseen of the heavens and the earth. Inna hu alimum bizaati sudur. Verily he knows whatever is in the hearts of the people. Hu allazhi jalakum khalaifa fil nart. It is He that has made you successors in this world. Some other people were living here. They died. Now you are living. Generation after generation. Generation succeeding the other. فَمَنْ كَفَرَ مَعْلَيْهِ كُفْرُوْ Whosoever disbelieves and rejects the faith, well, the punishment of that will come to him. وَلَا يَزِيدُ الْكَافِرِنَا كُفْرُهُمْ إِنْ دَرَبَّهِمْ إِلَّا مَقْتَى And for these disbelievers, Their disbelief will not increase except the wrath of their Lord. وَلَا يَزِيدُ الْكَافِرُونَ كُفْرُهُمْ إِلَّا خَسَارًا And this disbelief of these disbelievers will not add for them but loss. قُلْ أَرَأَيْتُمْ شُرَكَاكُمُ الَّذِينَ تَدْوُنَ مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ Say to them, O Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم, Have you ever thought and considered? about those deities whom you call upon besides Allah. Aruni maza khalaku min al-ard. Show me what they have created in this world, in this earth. Am lahum shirkun fi samawad. Or do you think they have any partnership with Allah in the heavens? Am atainahum kitaban fahum hala bayyati minhu. Have we given them some scripture, some book, and they are on a ground on an argument of that book. بَلْ اِنْ يَعِدُ الزُوَارِمُونَ بَعْضُهُمْ بَعْضًا إِلَّا غُرُورًا But actually these evil doers promise each other delusions and deceits. إِنَّ اللَّهَ يُمْسِكُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْلَرْضَ أَنْ تَدُولَ Verily Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala holds the heavens and the earth. Lest they should move from their place positions. وَلَئِنْ زَعَلَتَا And if they actually move from their positions, what will happen to the universe? You can imagine. You know, all these big bodies will be colliding with each other. إِنْ أَمْسَكَهُمَا مِنْ أَحَدٍ مِنْ بَعْدِهِ If they, they change their position, nobody can stop them from doing it except Allah. إِنَّهُ كَانَ حَلِيمًا غَفُورًا Verily, He is forbearing forgiving. وَاَقْسَمُوا بِاللَّهِ جَهْدَ اَمَانِهِ And they swore by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to their most earnest oaths. لَإِنْ جَاهُمْ نَزِيرٌ If some warner comes to us, لَا يَكُونَنَّا أَحْدَى مِنْ اِحْدَ الْأُمَمْ Then we shall become most rightly guided people than any other rightly guided people of the world. They used to swear. But, فَلَمَّا جَاهُمْ نَذِيرُونَ When a warner has come to them, Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم, مَا زَادَهُمْ إِلَّا نُفُورًا Now there is nothing increasing in them except aversion. This ribaran fi lard and arrogance in this world. وَمَكْرَ السَّيِّئِ And evil designing, they are planning how to stop this da'wah of Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم from spreading. وَلَا يَهِيقُ الْمَكْرُ السَّيِّئُ إِلَّا بِأَهْلِهِ But this evil devising and planning 
it encompasses only the one who is planning it. They are not waiting for anything except the fate of the ancients. What happened to Aad and Samud? They are waiting for the same fate. فَلَن تَجَدَ لِسُنَّةِ اللَّهِ تَبْدِيلًا You will never find any change in the practices of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, rules, regulations of Allah. وَلَن تَجَدَ لِسُنَّةِ اللَّهِ تَحْوِيلًا And you won't find any turning off in the sunnah. أَوَلَمْ يَسِرُوا فِي الْأَرِفَ يَنْزُرُوا كَيْفَ كَانَ عَاقِبَةُ الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِهِمْ Have they not traveled in the land and seen what had been the end of those people who were before them? وَكَانُوا أَشَدَّ مِنْهُمْ قُوَّةً They were more powerful than them, than these Quraysh, Aad and Samud. These two nations of the Arabian Peninsula were very great nations. وَمَا كَانَ اللَّهُ لَيُعْجِدَهُمْ مِنْ شَيْنِ فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَلَا فِي الْأَرْضِ But Allah is not such that anything can defeat Him, neither in this land, earth, nor in the heavens. إِنَّهُ كَانَ عَلِيمًا قَدِيرًا he knows everything and he is all-powerful. وَلَوْ يُوَاخِذُ اللَّهُ النَّاسَ بِمَا كَسَبُوا مَا تَرَكَ عَلَى ظَهْرِهَا مِنْ دَعَبَّةِ And if Allah was to hasten and seize the evildoers immediately, then he would not have left a living creature on this earth. If he seizes, punishes immediately, you are finished. So Allah gives, you know, he gives the spite. وَلَاكِنْ يُؤَخِّرُهُمْ إِلَىٰ أَجَلِ الْمُسَمَّةِ Allah doesn't punish immediately. He gives them the spite. Till a time which is fixed for every nation. وَلِكُلِّ أُمَّةٍ أَجَلْ For every community, there is a fixed term. فَإِذَا جَعَا جَلُهُمْ When the fixed time will come for them. فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ كَانَ بِعِبَادِهِ بَصِيرًا Then verily Allah is seeing His servants. And he will deal with them accordingly. Now we come to Surah Yasin. You must have heard the saying of the Prophet ﷺ that Surah Yasin is the heart of Quran. Surah to Yasin, Kalbul Quran. Now what does it mean? I, I can only have an idea of mine, but nothing can be said absolute, with absolute certainty. One thing is that when you read Surah Yasin, you actually feel as if, you know, the beating of a heart. So that is the style. I told you this is the same style as we have already seen in Surah Sarida. The styles of these two surahs are very similar to each other. Number two, as I told you, there are six groups of Makki surahs. Although there are seven groups of Makki Madani Surahs, I have told many times. But in the first group, the Makki Surah is only Surah Al Fatiha. We can ignore. Very small Surah. So actually, there are six groups. The first two were revealed in the last four years of, Hudu, of the stay of Muhammad Sallallahu at Makkah, except for Surah Al Hijr. The middle two were revealed during the middle four years of his stay at Makkah. The last two groups were revealed during the first four years of his stay at Makkah. Number two, in the first two groups, the main subject, although you know the subject of Iman Billah, faith in Allah, faith in messengerhood, faith in resurrection, these are the basic things. In every Makki surah, they are discussed in detail, repeatedly, repeatedly, repeatedly. But there is a distribution. In the first two groups, the main subject is messengerhood. In the middle two, it's the tawheed of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the monotheism. And in the last two groups, it is the resurrection. In Zar, warning that you will be resurrected, and then you will be rewarded and recompensed for what you have been doing here. Now, these middle two groups, this they comprise of eight surahs which have, we, we have already read. Surah Al-Furqan, Surah Al-Shwara, Surah Al-Naml, Surah Al-Qasas, Surah Al-Ankabut, Surah Al-Rum, Surah Al-Luqman, and Surah Al-Sajda. And then we had Surah Al-Ahzab, which is Madani Surah. From there, this fifth group has started now. 
and we have read Surah Al-Fatir, Surah Al-Saba, and now we are at Surah Yasin. These are 13 surahs total. Then we said that three surahs were Jar Madani, Surah Al-Fatr, and Surah Al-Hujarat, and Surah Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So, if you join them together, these two groups, 8 plus 13, they are 21. Now 21 is the figure, in the center is 1, 10 to this side, 10 to this side. And we have this Yasin in this position. Central position of the two central groups of Makki Surahs. Ten Surahs before it. Eight those which I enumerated, Surah Al-Furqan, two Surah Al-Sajdah. And two more after Ahzab, that is Surah Al-Saba or Surah Al-Fatir. And ten will come after Yasin, which means we shall be inshallah reading tomorrow and day after etc. And also because this Yasin is placed in the Quran, not in the center. The center should be Surah Bani Israel or Surah Kahf. And the word is there in Surah Al-Kahf, that is just half of the letters of Quran. But you know, because heart is also not placed in the center of the chest. It is to one side. So this is another thing. So these are the things which cross your mind. That why the Prophet said that this surah is the heart of the Quran. Maybe something of it is true. Maybe it's the wrong conjecture. Allah knows best. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Yaseen. Wal Quran al-Hakim. By the wise Quran. I swear by the Quran which is full of wisdom. Inna kalamin al-Mursaleen. Here please identify two things. Whenever there is a qasm in Quran, an oath. We have to see on what thing Allah is taking this oath. In Arabic we say, Muqsam behi, Muqsam alayh. Swearing by what? And swearing on what? I swear, I am telling you the truth. My swearing is, I swear by God. I am swearing by God that what I am saying is true. And this is the thing, this statement of mine on which I am swearing. So, muqsam behi, muqsam alayh. We have to identify these things when understanding Quran, pondering over Quran. And this is very important place. Wal Quran il Hakim. By this book, this is the proof in the Kalamin al Mursaleen that you are a messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because Quran actually is the miracle of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah challenged people thrice in Quran, in Surah four times. In Surah Bani Israel, then Surah Hud, then Surah Yunus, then lastly Surah Baqarah. When you come to the Mimma Nazalla Ala Abdul Nafati, you will be able to do it. When you come to the Mimma Nazalla Ala Abdul Nafati, you will be able to do it. If you have any doubts about this book that we have sent to our, our messenger Muhammad, وسلم, then you also compose a Surah like this. Come on. And you call all people whom you can as your helpers, from jinnat, from humans. But if you can't meet this challenge, and you will not be able to meet it, see, if you don't do it, then you will not be able to do it. And this is the fact. Nobody, not the severest enemy of Muhammad could stand up and say, well, I have composed a surah. I say this is equal to Quran. Now we should have some body, some persons to decide whether actually it is, it is like Quran or not. No, no. Nobody dared come forward. So this is the proof of the messengerhood of Allah, of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Yaseen wal Quran in Hakim inna ka labin al bursaleen ala sirati mustaqeen. And you are on the straight path. Tanzil al Aziz al Rahim in this book. It is sending down from Allah, who is Al-Aziz, having all authority, Al-Rahim, all-merciful. Let tunzira common, so that you warn the nation, maunzira abahum, whose fathers were not warned. We never sent any messenger to Banu Ismail, after Ismail. 
more than 2000 years have passed fahum ghafilun now this fahum is very good very important that is why they are absolutely heedless and aware they never knew what is messengerhood what is prophethood they never knew what is a book sent by allah all these things are absolutely new for them taqad haqq al qawlu ala aksarihim but now that you have preached to them and conveyed to them these messages and they are refusing and refuting now the word of punishment has become applicable to them already they deserve the punishment of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala faum la yu'minun and they are not going to come to believe now inna ja'alna fi anaqi maghlalan we have put fetters in their necks fa'ya ilal asqan and now they are reaching their chins level of their chins faum muqmarun now they are you know the next they are turned upwards because there are fetters here wa ja'alna min bayni aydihim saddam wa min khalfihim sadda and we have put barriers in front of them before them and behind them fa hum la yusirun now they cannot see when there is a wall in front of you a wall behind you what will you do now what it denotes to the idea that i prefer there are different sayings of the mufassirin that behind them are the historical proofs ayyamullah what had been happening before messengers coming and nations destroyed this is behind them the history is behind them and in front of them this is the whole universe and there are signs of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala spread over all this universe but they are not seeing that not not to these signs nor they are paying any heed to the historical was sawun alayhim anzartahum am lam tunzurum la yumenu this is the same ayah which we have in the beginning of surah al baqara also now it is alike to them o muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam whether you warn them or not they are not going to believe inna ma tunzuru man ittaba zikra you can warn only that person who follows the admonition wa khashiyar rahmana bil ghaib and he fears rahman the compassionate allah in the unseen so bashir ho bi maghfiratin wa ajrin kareem to such a person you give the glad tidings of forgiveness and great reward inna nahnu nuhil mauta we will revive the dead wa naktub ma qaddamu wa asara when we are writing recording what they have sent before them and what they are leaving behind them now these are two aspects of our deeds some of our deeds we have already sent to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they are recorded whatever we do in our life before that as if we have already sent you know these deeds to the hereafter and then when we leave we leave behind us either something good or bad if you have left behind you a god fearing son then his good deeds will add to your will be credited to your accounts also and if you have left behind you a bad son who is a, in revolt against allah subhanahu wa taala then his misdeeds will be discredited to you also so this is what you have said they left behind somebody has started an institution a good institution for the spread of the knowledge of the book of allah now till such time that this institution is there and people are getting the knowledge of allah's book from this you know this will be added up to the account of the person who established this institution in the first instance so allah says inna nahnu nuhil mauta wa naktub ma qaddamu wa asaru wa kull shay'in ahsaynahu fi imam mubin and everything we have computed in a manifest register what we lahum masalan ashab al qarya now you strike for them wa muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam a similitude of the people of a township idha jaa al mursalun when a number of messengers came to them 
Most of the Mufassirin think that they were actually the disciples of Hazrat Isa alayhi salatu wa salam, Hawari Yeen. Because after Isa alayhi salam was lifted to the heavens, now these Hawari Yeen, they propagated the word of Isa alayhi salatu wa salam. And this word Rasul, you know, and it is applicable to both. Allah sent Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, So he is the Rasul of Allah. Muhammad sent someone. You convey this message to fla- for such and such person. Now he is the Rasul. That is why, you know, when the Prophet sent Hazrat Umar of the Allah Ta'ala Anu in Medina, go and get the bayah of women on my behalf. He went to the place where the women were gathered and he said, Ana Rasulo Rasulillah. I am the messenger of the messenger of Allah. So he was also a messenger. Messenger from the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So these were the messengers of a messenger of Allah, that is Jesus, Isa alayhi salatu wa salam. In the Rasulullah ilayhi musnayn, when we sent to them two, فَقَذَّبُهُمَا They belied both of them. فَعَزَّزْنَا بِسْتَعْلِسِنْ Then we strengthened with one more, third one. فَقَالُوا إِنَّا إِلَيْكُمْ مُرْسَلُونَ They said, Verily, we, are, we have been sent to you. فَعَلُوا مَا أَنْتُمْ إِلَّا بَشَرُمْ مِسْلُونَ They said, You are nothing. But mortal human beings like us, Ramadan al-Rahman min shay, and the compassionate Allah has not sent down anything. In antum illa tu takzibun, you are only telling a lie. Kalu Rabbana ya alomu. They said, Our Lord knows. Inna ilaykum la mursalun. We have been sent by Him to you. Rama alena illa balagul mubin. But our responsibility is only to convey to you in the clear words. That's all. قَالُوا إِنَّا تُطَيِّرْنَا بِكُمْ They said, we take you as a bad omen, as a ill auger. وَلَئِلْ لَمْ تَنْتَهُ If you don't stop what you are saying, don't desist, لَنَرْجُ مَنَّكُمْ We shall stone you to death. وَلَيَمَسَّنَّكُمْ مِنَّا عَذَابٌ عَلِيمٌ And very severe chastisement will come to you from us. قَالُوا تَعَيْرُكُمْ مَعَكُمْ They said, well, this bad omen of yours is with you. I'm looking to. You are angry only because you have been admonished. We try to remind you of your Lord. بَلْ أَنْتُمْ قَوْمُ الْمُسْرِفُونَ No, but you are a very prodigal people. وَجَعَ مِنَ أَصْرُ الْمَدِينَةِ نَجُلُ يَسْعَى And now from the farthest end of the city, a person came running. قَالَ يَا قَوْمِ التَّبِعُ الْمُرْسَلِينَ He said, O oh my people, O oh my nation, follow these people who have been sent. اِتَّبِعُوا مَا لَا يَسَلُكُمْ عَجِنًا وَهُمْ مُعْتَدُونَ Follow them who are not asking you for any wages, for any reward. And they are on the right path. وَمَا لِيَ لَا عَبُدُ الَّذِي فَتَرَنِي وَقَالَ إِنِّي زَاهِبٌ إِلَىٰ رَبِّي سَيَهْدِينَ رَبِّ هَبْ لِي مِنَ الصَّالِحِينَ فَبَشَّرْنَاهُ بِغُلَامٍ حَلِيمٍ صَدَقَ اللَّهُ الْعَصِيمٍ We were reading in Surah Safat when Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam was thrown in the fire but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala kept him safe. But after that, as a rule, when for any messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala People try to kill him. Then he makes hijra from that place. He immigrates to other land. So immediately after that he said, Qala Rabbi inni zahirun ila Rabbi sayahdeen. And he said, surely I am going to my Lord. He will certainly guide me. The history tells us that he went from Iraq to Sham, Syria. Because in between is a very big desert. So he had to take a detour, a very long route. But then after reaching the northern part of Syria, then he came down to the Palestine of this age, this time. Rabbi Habli min as at the same time, he prayed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, My Lord, grant me a righteous offspring. Fabasharnahu bi ghulamin halim. So we gave him the glad tidings of a forbearing son. 
this word halim appears in the quran only thrice for any human beings always it comes from allah only for bearing but twice for ibrahim alayhi salatu wassalam and once for ismail alayhi salam this word comes quran in quran here fabashshirnahu bi ghulam in halim we gave him the glad tidings of a forbearing son that is ismail alayhi salam falamma balagha ma usaiya when he reached the age of working alongside his father qala ya bunayya it was at the age of 13 Hazrat Ismail was 13. Kala ya bunaya inni ara fil manam ya inni asbahu ka. He said to the son Ismail alayhi salam, Oh my dear son, I have been seeing my dream in my dream that I am slaughtering you. Fanzur maza kara. Now look, what is your opinion? What do you say? Kala ya abati fal ma tumar. He said. Oh my dear father go ahead and do what you are being ordered and commanding commanded to do satajaduni inshallah min as-sabirin god willing you will find me from among the persevering falamma aslama when both of them submitted to the will of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa tallahu lil jabin and he had laid him down over his forehead when are they now oh ya ibrahim he was just going to slaughter him kill him when allah says we call to him say go oh, ibrahim qad saddaqta duya you have indeed fulfilled your vision inna kadhalika najzil muhsinin and we reward those who reach the level of excellence in their deen in the same way we have tried and you have succeeded but no further don't kill this son in hada lahu al balaul mubin verily it was a very big test through which you have come with flying colors wa fadainahu bi zibin azim and we and we ransomed him for a mighty sacrifice wa tarakna alayhi fil akhirin akhirin and we left for him praise among the later generations all are praising ibrahim the jews the christians the muslims all and maybe even the hindus there is an idea that brahma which they call is a deity it is actually the name of ibrahim alayhi salatu wassalam they have made him god just as the christians made hazrat masih alayhi salam son of god so these things are the perversion of the people maybe they also mean ibrahim when they call brahma salamun ala ibrahim peace be upon ibrahim kazalik rajil mursalin in this way we reward the good doers innahu min ibadin al mu'minin surely he was among our believing servants wa bashrnahu bi ishaq and later on we gave him the glad tidings of ishaq nabiyya min as salihin that he will be a prophet from among the righteous wa barakna alayhi wa ala ishaq and we blessed him and also ishaq wa min zurriyatihima and from the progeny of both of them both of them progeny of ibrahim and ishaq that is the progeny of ismail is not covered here progeny of ibrahim and ishaq wa min zurriyatihima muhsinun wa zalimun li nafsihi mubin there are good doers of the good deeds also and there are wrong doers also who are manifestly in error وَلَقَدْ مَنَنَّا عَلَى مُوسَى وَهَارُونَ and we did confer a favor on Musa and Harun عليهم السلام وَنَجَّيْنَاهُمَا وَقَوْمَهُمَا مِنَ الْكَرْبِ الْعَظِيمِ and we delivered them and their people from the mighty distress وَنَصَرْنَاهُمْ فَكَانُوا هُمُ الْغَالِبِينَ and we helped them so they became the victors وَأَتَيْنَاهُمُ الْكِتَابَ الْمُسْتَبِينَ and we gave them the book which gave them the light وَهَذَيْنَا هُمَا الصِّرَاطَ الْمُسْتَقِيمَ and we guided both of them to the straight walk path وَتَرَكْنَا عَلَيْهِمَا فِي الْآخِرِينَ and left for them also the praise among the later generations سَلَامُ نَرَى مُوسَى وَهَارُونَ peace be upon Musa and Harun إِنَّا كَذَلِكَ نَجْزِ الْمُحْسِنِينَ 
Surely in this way we recompense the good doers. In the Huma bin Ibad in Al-Mu'minin, surely both of them were from among believing servants. Wa inna Ilyas ala min al-Mursaleen. In the same way, Ilyas was also from among the messengers. Is qala li qawmihi rata taqoon. When he said to his nation, Don't you fear God? Atad'oona ba'lan. Do you call upon Baal? Baal was their God. And that is why there was a city, Baal Bak, city of Baal. Baal was the God whom these people, you know, they worshipped. Atad'oona ba'lan. You call upon Baal. Watadaruna, watadaruna ahsan al-khaliqeen. And you are, you are forsaking the best of the creators, that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah rabbakum, that is Allah, who is your Lord. Farabba abayakum al-awwaleen, and he is the Lord of your forefathers also. Fakazzabuhu. So they belied him. Fainnahum la bodaroon. So they will also be presented before us as criminals. إِلَّا عِبَادَ اللَّهِ الْمُخْلَسِينَ Except those of our servants whom we had chosen for ourselves. وَتَرَكْنَا عَلَيْهِ فِي الْآخِرِينَ And we left for them praise in the coming generations. سَلَامٌ عَلَىٰ إِلْيَاسِينَ Peace be upon Ilyas. إِنَّا كَذَلِكَ نَجْزِ الْمُحْسِنِينَ إِنَّهُ مِنْ عِبَادِنَا الْمُؤْمِنِينَ وَإِنَّ لُوتًا لَمِنَ الْمُرْسَلِينَ And Lut was also from among the messengers. When we delivered him and his family all, illa ajudan fil ghabirin, except an old woman, his wife, she remained with those who remained behind. Summa dabban al akharin, then we destroyed the others. Wa inna kum la tabarroon alayhim musbihin wa bil layli afala taqilun. And verily, you pass by them in the morning and at the night. The caravans, you know, trading caravans which used to go from Hijaz to Syria. Passed by this, these, you know, cities of Gomorrah and Sodom. So in the Kumla Taburun, you keep on passing by their cities. Alayhim Musbihin, in the mornings, Wabilayl, and during the night also. Afalat Akhilun. So do you not understand? Why in the Yunus Allah bin al in the same way Yunus alayhi salatu was also one of the messengers, is Abaqail al Fulk in Mashun. When he felled, when he fled, ran to a laden ship, when he departed from his nation, without the express permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that was a mistake that he committed. Now he came and he, you know, he mounted a, a ship, which was going perhaps in Shat al-Arab, where you know these two rivers of Iraq, they join each other, Furat and Dajra. And this is called, this is a very big waterway now, Shat al-Arab. And here some ship was going and he also, he joined them. فَسَاهَمَ فَقَانَ مِنَ الْمُدْحَوِينَ Then he cast lots with others and was the one who lost. Now what happened, according to the stories, the riyat, that there was the, the ship was trembling as if it will drown. They said there is some slave who has run away from his master in this boat. And that is why this boat is going to sink. So that person should be thrown into the water, into, into the river. Now they put, cast lots to know who is that person. So name of Jonas came and he was then lifted and thrown in the river. Faltaqamahul hut. And then he was swallowed by a fish, maybe some very big fish, some whale. وَهُوَ مُلِينَ And he was reproached. فَلَوْلَا أَنَّهُ كَانَ مِنَ الْمُسَبِّحِينَ But had he not been from among those who glorify Allah, because there he glorified, لَا إِلَهَا إِلَّا أَنْتَ سُبْحَانَكَ إِنِّي كُنْتُ مِنَ الظَّالِمِينَ He admitted that I have committed mistake, I have done wrong to myself, so Allah you forgive me. لَلَبِسَ فِي بَطْنِهِ لَا يَوْمِ يُبْعَثُونَ Had he not been from among the, those who, Glorify Allah, he would have lived in the belly of the fish till the day of resurrection. But then we thrown him, threw him on a shore like a desert while he was sick, vomited. The fish vomited him out 
اور دشور وابتنا علیہ وہ وہ سخی نہیں بس ویری سکھ اینڈ ال وابتنا علیہ شجر اتم یقین اینڈ وی میڈ ٹو گرو اوور ہی میں پلانٹ آف گولڈ ناؤ اباؤٹ دس آئی ہیو انفارمیشن پروفیسر احمد الدین مارا روی ہی واز انسپیکٹر آف اسکول ان بلوچستان اینڈ ہی سیز الانگ دی کوسٹ آف بکران دیر گروز یو نو اے دیر از سم کریپرس بیل وچ اسپریڈ آن دی ارتھ اینڈ اٹ ہیز فروٹ ویری سویٹ اینڈ آلسو دیر از سم پیسٹیسائڈ اور انسیکٹیسائڈ افیکٹ ان اٹس لیوز سو نو یو نو دیز انسیکٹس ایسے ٹریک اپ دیر سو اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ اینڈ دے کال اٹ ایک گین ان دیٹ لوکل مکرانی لینگویج دے کال اٹ ایک گین اب ناؤ دس از یقتین یقتین اینڈ کاف از چینج ان ٹو گاف ایز دی عرب سے گل گم انسٹیڈ آف سینگ کم دے سے گم انسٹیڈ آف سینگ کل دے سے گل تو ایک گین از دی چینج فارم آف یقتین سو دس واز دی پلانٹ دیٹ اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ میڈ گرو بگ لیوز سو دیٹ دے کور دی باڈی آف حضرت یونس علیہ السلام فروم دی سن اینڈ دین دیر واز دی انسیکٹیسائڈ ان دی ان دی لیوز سو نو انسیکٹس نو بیکٹیریا سم اور دی سارٹ دے اٹیکڈ ہم سو دیر ہی ہی کیم ٹو ہیلتھ اگین وامبتنا علیہ شجرتم من یقتین وارسلناہو الہ میت الفن او یزیدون دین ہی واز سنٹ بیک to 100,000 people, 100,000 people, a community of 100,000, فَاسْنَمُ فَامَنُوا and they came to believe in him, فَمَتَّعْنَاهُ مِلَاحِينَ So we let them have comforts in this world for some time. فَاسْتَفْتِهِمْ عَلَى رَبِّكَ الْبَنَاتُ وَلَهُمُ الْبَنُونَ Now, O Muhammad صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم, ask them, the people of Arabia and Mecca, are for your lords, your daughters, And for them are the sons, they like sons, but they have a lot of daughters, they say, the angels are the daughters of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Am khalaqna al-malaikata inasun wa hum shahidun. Did we create these angels as females while they were witnesses, they were seeing it? So they say they are daughters. Allah innahum min ifkihim la yakulun. Behold, it is surely of their own lie that they are saying, Walad Allah, that Allah has begotten. وَإِنَّهُمْ لَكَاسِبُونَ They are definitely telling a lie. He neither begot nor he was begotten. لَمْ يَلِدْ وَلَمْ يُولَدْ قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ عَدْ اللَّهُ سَمَدْ لَمْ يَلِدْ وَلَمْ يُولَدْ اِسْتَفَرْ بَنَاتِ عَلَى الْبَنِينَ He has chosen, according to their saying, He has chosen daughters or sons. مَا لَكُمْ كَيْفَ تَحْكُمُونَ What has happened to you? What type of judgments you are giving? أَفَلَا تَذَكَّرُونَ So don't you get admonished? Am lakum sultanun mubin? Do you have a clear authority or proof? Fatu be kitabikum. Then you bring forth your book. In kuntum sadiqin. If you are true. Wajalu bainahu wa bainal jinnati nasabah. And they have declared that there is a kinship between him, Allah, and the jinns. Walakad alimat al jinnatu. And the jinns very well know, innahum la muhtaroon, that they will be presented before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now there is a hadith according to Mujahid. He was one of the disciples of Abdullah ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhumah. And many tafsiri riwayat, traditions of exegesis, we get through him from Abdullah ibn Abbas. They say that the mushrikeen when they said that the angels are the daughters of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then Abu Bakr asked them, then who are, who are the mothers? Mothers of these angels? They said, the daughters of the chiefs of the jinns were the mothers. So that they became the wives for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala according to their own mythology. In this way they were presenting a relationship, a kinship between Allah and jinns. Subhanallah ya maya sifun. You glorified is Allah. Above what they say, but they describe. Illa ibad Allah al mukhlasin. Except the servants of Allah, the ones who Allah has chosen for them, Himself. Fa inna kum abat abudun. Surely you and those whom you are worshiping, 
مان تم علیہ بے فاتنین یو کین ناٹ لیڈ ایسٹرے اینی ون اگینسٹ ہم اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی اللہ من ہوا سال جہیم ایکسپٹ دی ون ہو ہیز ٹو فال ان دی ہیل فائر وما منا اللہ له مقام معلوم اینڈ ناؤ اٹ از فروم دی اینجلز اینڈ دیر از نن اف اس بٹ ہی ہیز ان اسائنڈ سچویشن ایوری اینجل ہیز اے پوسٹ اسائنڈ ٹو ہم یو ہیو ٹو اسٹے ہیئر وینا نحن صافون and we always remain ranged in ranks now this is referring to the first ayah was safat safan wa inna la nahnu safiun safun and we keep in rows in lines in ranks wa inna la nahnu musabbihun and we are always glorifying allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa in kanu la yaqulun and definitely they are saying law na in dana zikra min alawwalin Had we been given any admonition from the ancients, the Kunna Ibad Allah Al Mukhlasin, we would have been the servants of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, exclusive for Him, for kafaru bhi. But now they have belied it, rejected it. For so far, Yalamun. So very soon they will come to know. Well, the sabakat kalle matunale Ibad Al Mursalin. These ayat are very important. A very big rule, divine rule, has been described in it, and certainly. Our command has already gone forth for our servants, whom we sent as messengers. Whomsoever we send as messengers, or we have been sending as messengers about them, this rule, this command had been decided beforehand. And what is that? In nahum lahumul mansurun. Verily, they will be helped when their nations come and try to kill them. They will be saved. This is on Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. He takes the responsibility. In Nahum Lahumul Mansurur wa In Najun Dana Lahumul Ghalibun. And verily, our army, our host, will be the victor. In the long run, the people who rejected the messengers, they were destroyed altogether. That happened to the people of Nuh and people of, you know, Hud and people of Saleh and people of Shuaib. And the cities to whom Lut was sent, and so on and so forth. وَإِنَّ الْجُنْدَنَا لَهُمُ الْغَالِبُونَ فَتَوَلَّ عَنْهُمْ حَتَّى حِينَ So, O Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, you turn away from them for some time, leave them. وَأَبْصِرْهُمْ فَسَوْفَ يُبْصِرُونَ and watch them, and very soon they will also see for themselves. أَفَبِعَذَابِ أَفَبِعَذَابِ نَأْيَسْتَعْجِلُونَ Do they want to hasten our chastisement? فَإِذَا أَنْتَرَ بِسَاحَتِهِمْ فَسَاءَ سَبَعُ الْمُنْزَرِينَ When this chastisement of ours will descend in their courtyard, even will be the morning or those for those people who were warned or already. وَتَوَلَّ عَنُ مَتَاهِينَ Again, repeat. And, O Prophet ﷺ, turn away from them for a while. وَأَبْسِرْ فَسَوْفَ يُبْسِرُونَ And watch. And they will also see for themselves. سبحان رب کا رب العزت یا مایا صفون گلوری بی فر یور لارڈ ہی ایس دی لارڈ آف بیجسٹی تھورٹی ام مایا صفون اور ہی ایس ابو ون ہائی فرم آل دوز تھنگز وچ دی آر ڈسکرائبنگ وسلام على المرسلین پیس آن آل دی میسنجرز والحمدللہ رب العالمین اور پریس فر اللہ سبحانہ وتعالی ہو ایس دی لارڈ آف آل دی ورلڈز